Hey guys, Shinny Gaming here, and today I'm doing a real quick review of the microphone here, the Audio Technica AT2020 that I have been using for a little over a year, almost two years now, I think. Uh, you guys, the viewers, actually helped me purchase this a while back. Uh, several people had rec bleh, recommended it to me, sorry. Uh, I'm blabbering a little bit here, but yeah, several people had recommended it to me. It has so far been a absolutely fantastic microphone. Um, I used to have a newer or newer N E E W E R brand, uh, like eight model 800 N 800 or something like that brand microphone. It's an XLR microphone, um, and it worked well enough. It just did not work. Uh, fantastically it was very quiet it was hard to get a loud sound out of it even with me talking fairly loud and so like right now in this video i'm talking very loud but i don't normally have the mic positioned up here um i kind of i was only doing this just so you could kind of see the microphone a little bit uh but yeah it is the back of the microphone that you guys are looking at and it has a shock mount uh or i'm sorry it does have a shock mount which is this part down here that you can kind of see Right, whoops, sorry, right here. This is the shock mount. It has a pop filter on the front up here that you can see as well. Uh, but yeah, usually I have the microphone more. Let me see if I can move this without being too loud. Oh, of course, it's not wanting to twist, sorry. Okay, sorry about that. And I usually have it positioned down here in front of me. And so now that I've moved the mic, obviously you can see uh, a little bit of Shinny Baby's uh, play toys back there. This room behind me has mostly been converted for Shinny Baby to play. Uh, but yes, yeah, so normally I have the microphone directly in front of me, sometimes a little bit lower. Like right now, it is literally like, it's kind of right in front of my face, but it's just out of the webcam's view. But a lot of times I have it a little bit lower. Um, and I don't really have to yell. I can be several inches away. I'm, I don't know, I'm a good six inches, six, eight inches away at the moment. Uh, I don't like to get much further than that. Like some people, I've seen people have their mics like really far away. And I feel like you pick up a lot more background noise. You pick up a lot more of like the room noise by doing that. Um, I have mine on a really cheap like scissor arm. I think it came with that newer brand microphone. It just happens to uh, hold this up fairly well. But yes, I I really, really like this microphone. It seems to pick up my voice very well, whereas some microphones can't. I have I know I have kind of a deep voice, like not super deep, obviously. Um, some people, I'm not like super duper bass or anything, but I do know that some microphones have trouble picking up that deeper audio, and this one seems to pick it up pretty well, at least for me anyways. This, I've, I've really enjoyed this. This was a huge quality improvement uh, over the old newer microphone that I had. So the AT2020, it's a uh, cardioid condenser studio microphone. Um, mine is the XLR version. There is also a USB version. Um, I already had an audio interface. Um, I am using, currently, I'm using the Behringer Euphoria UMC 202 HD. What a mouthful. Previously, I was using the Behringer Euphoria UM2, but that only has one single input, whereas the uh, UMC202 HD has two inputs. And the reason for that, for me specifically, is I actually have two microphones connected at the moment, one for myself and one for Shinny Wifey for in the occasional event that we actually do like a live stream together or recording together or anything like that, which we've done a little bit in the past, but there may be more in the future, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, so I upgraded to a double audio interface that can have basically two microphones, uh, which is really handy. I really like that quite a bit. Uh, so yeah, this microphone, great. It usually runs about $100 on Amazon, especially when it's on sale like it is right now. Uh, it is actually on sale for $99. Uh, the listing price is $169. I don't know if I've ever actually seen it that much. Usually it is closer to the $100 mark. It's, it's almost always on sale for around $100, sometimes $110, $115, sometimes 
I think the lowest I've seen it was like 90. Uh, it may have gone on sale for lower than that. I don't keep a great eye on it, but again, really good mic. Now, with it being a cardioid microphone, let me move this back up a little bit. So, so that way it's kind of in, in camera here. So basically the cardioid microphone doesn't really pick up noise behind it. So like if I snap my fingers behind it, it's picking it up somewhat, but I think it's more picking up the reflection of that noise because I was snapping my fingers like two inches behind the microphone and it was barely picking that up, at least from what I could see on the sound bar of the recording here. Uh, so yeah, it kind of picks up like a kind of a rounded cone, like kind of coming out at an angle. So if I get too far to the side over here, my voice really doesn't pick up very well. Like when I'm in front, it picks up fantastically. But when I get to the sides over here, not very well at all. Like it, it's kind of hard for me to get on this side just because it has the scissor arm there. Uh, so yeah, so I'm using this XLR microphone, XLR cable going to the audio interface and then the audio inter interface, bleh, sorry. Audio interface provides phantom power to the microphone, which is like 48 volts of power. Basically, uh, without that, this microphone would be either it wouldn't work or it'd be really super quiet. Now, my older, newer microphone, I always thought that was the problem was that it wasn't getting phantom power, but the phantom power on my devices were on. I've actually used two or three different audio interfaces. I'd used a newer brand. I upgraded to the Behringer thinking that might fix it. It didn't, so eventually I upgraded to this microphone, which just sounds fantastic. So I was like, I don't really need that newer mic anymore. I still have it. Um, I think it runs like $15 or something usually. It's a it's a pretty inexpensive microphone. It was a good starter purchase to get started with this and kind of uh, have some fun with YouTube, but I wanted to get better audio quality, and here I am with a much better studio quality mic. Now, obviously there are even better microphones above this, much, much better. Uh, this is just a really good kind of budget system. Now, I will say that if you don't already have an audio interface, it can be more expensive to get into this kind of microphone than it would be to buy a USB mic. Like there is the USB version of the AT2020, or you could get something like the Blue Yeti or a Blue Snowball or something like that and, and be much more budget minded because the Behringer audio interface that I have currently cost $96. My old audio interface I have, uh, the uh, Euphoria UM2, no longer is being sold new from what I can see, but you can buy them used for about $34, so not super expensive. Um, I've also seen a couple of bundle deals, like I actually see one right here on Amazon, AT2020 with a pivot stand and the Behringer Euphoria UM2 for $125. I don't think it's sold by uh, an official store necessarily. So I don't know how well I would trust that bundle, but it comes with audio interface and the microphone and that's really what you need. But yeah, if you get the USB version, you can just plug it straight into your computer. Uh, whereas for me, I needed the audio interface. And since I already had one for the old microphone, um, it made it a much cheaper investment for me to upgrade to this microphone, but you could very easily be looking at $200 if you were trying to buy this microphone and the better audio interface that I have, or even if you wanted something like the, the Focusrite Scarlett Solo, uh, those are pretty good, but again, those run around $100, depending on which model, which version, all that good stuff. But those seem to be very popular audio interfaces as well. So basically I have my audio interface. My gain is set to right around half, sometimes a little bit more than that, like 55 to 60% on my gain. Uh, and really that's the only setting I really mess with much on the audio interface. So I turn the gain up too high. Obviously I can get some static and, and some feedback and stuff like that. But when it is like, once I get it set to where I need it for my voice, and since I'm really the only one using this microphone, it works really well. And I usually keep my mic in a very, again, I'll move it back down. I keep it in a, a very similar position at all times. It's out of the way for me. I can easily get to my keyboard, my mouse, all that. I can see my screen just fine. Like nothing is in my way with the mic where I have it here. 
Um, and obviously it picks up my voice fairly well because you guys should be able to hear me while I'm recording this. Uh, so yeah, anyways, in the description below, I will have an affiliate link for the Audio-Technica AT2020. Um, I will also include, if I can find the link again, uh, my shock mount, or I'm sorry, well, no, I'll include the shock mount as well, but also the uh, pop filter, I'll include links to the audio interfaces that I'm using. This is a, not what I would consider necessarily an entry level uh, streaming microphone setup. This is much better quality than what you get from like a headset microphone um, or uh, any, any of the really cheap cardioid mics or anything like that. Uh, but this will, this is a, a good upgrade. This is something that in my opinion is something good to save up for, which is what I did. I started with a, like, I think I bought the whole bundle with the microphone, the scissor arm, the shock mount, uh, the original audio interface that I had for the Neewer brand. I think I spent like $40 on it. And I was like, oh man, I'm spending a lot on this microphone, which when you're thinking about just a microphone that I guess that kind of sounds like a, a lot, but once I started really messing with audio settings and stuff, and I was like, I want a better sound to my live streams or to my videos and stuff like that. I, I really, I don't like having bad audio. So for me, I really wanted better sounding audio. And this mic has really gotten it for me. Um, and in fact, in the future, if I ever need more microphones, I will probably buy another one of these just because I like it so much. So yeah, in the description, there will be links uh, at, at the very least to the microphone. I'll see if I can provide links for some of the other devices I'm using. I, this video was mostly to review the microphone just because of how much I like it. It's been doing really well for me so far. Uh, it performs really well. It sounds pretty good. At least to me, it sounds really good. Uh, most people, there's been several times in games, uh, people have told me, wow, you've got like the voice of God going on over there, which is, I don't feel that's quite true, but at, at the very least people are admiring the sound or the quality of my voice in games and in voice calls and stuff like that on discord. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This went a little bit longer than I meant to, but again, affiliate links in the description. I may get a small kickback from Amazon from them if you decide to use them, which I would appreciate it, but you do not have to. You can also just search for Audio-Technica AT2020 and you will find this microphone if you just refuse to use affiliate links, uh, which is perfectly fine, but I don't mind a little bit of help from you guys in the financial department. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Jenny Gaming out.